my fabulous MFA 507 students. Here we are starting module three. You're like, where's module three announcements? Yeah, well, I'm creating it right now. That's why you don't see it over here. Yeah, anyway. So to get to module three, usually the way I do it is go to go to our course menu, go to learning modules, and then I will scroll down and click on module three. And boom, there we are. So again, so some facilitation notes for me. So don't worry about that. We'll go ahead and click right on to practicing craft. All right, so for this module, we have some things that we get to do. Yeah, we get to do some writing. Now, there's a couple of things that are a little different this week that you really need to pay attention to um, as far as scheduling your time. You know, this is usually just a, a class where, you know, it's like we get stuff at the beginning of this week, and as long as you get it done by the end of the week, you're in good shape. But there is a difference this week, so please, 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 please pay attention to this. All right, so what are we going to do? By the end of this thing, we're going, you get to create a fictional scene. Woohoo! And then you get to do peer feedback of that particular scene, which means that we have to get these scenes in before the end of the week so people have a chance to do feedback. Ah, and we'll talk about the deadline for that in a little bit of work, in a little bit. And then we also get to do some more group um, work as far as the groups that you are in. Um, let me just state up front that I know there was a little bit of confusion last week as far as what group am I in and how do I access this stuff. Again, I apologize profusely. This is my first class. Um, I'm teaching at uh, Southern New Hampshire where I'm dealing with book groups and I set it up per their directions, but apparently that information did not get translated to the students. So I apologize that I wasn't more clear on that. So hopefully we're clear on that. You know what groups you're in. If you're not, please email me and I will do whatever I can to help you with that. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, and then let's see, what are we going to be doing the deliverables? We'll talk about that as we go through these directions for this, uh, for this video. Okay, so let's go on to the next part. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch out of student mode just so I can make sure that we see everything we're supposed to see. Okay. Go back to course menu, go to all of the modules. See, because you see these course evaluation stuff, that's the stuff that I see. It's, it's stuff you'll see later on, so don't worry about it. Okay. So module overview. But again, I'm going to let you read the module overview on your own, but it just does to kind of talk about how, just like anything, any skill, um, writing is something that you need to practice. And part of practicing writing is also learning how to read effectively. Um, and also it kind of just describes how writing... Although it seems like writing is a solitary act, uh, you know, we do spend most of our time alone, just us and the paper and our characters, but it is much more involved in that as we introduce our peer groups and then we get editors involved, and publishers involved, and so it does become much more than just a solitary act. So just kind of read through that and it'll kind of give you some insight on that. Okay, now let's get to the fun stuff. The readings and resources. Okay, so um, just as a note, as of Saturday at 11.06 Eastern Time, this link, Reading Novels, is broken. I sent in a ticket, okay, so, um, and I hope to have that resolved um, before Monday. But I did note that this, that all the rest of the links work, but the Reading Novels does not work. And that's going to be a problem. There's a few other links that don't work, which we'll talk about in a section. In a section, uh, in a moment rather. Um, but there, you can read through the rest of these just to help you with the activities that we're going to be doing for this week. All right, now let's get to our first stuff before we get started. Okay, so in addition, pay attention to any of your instructor's analysis this week for additional resources or lessons. I will post another video dealing with setting, um, basically description, mainly more than anything else. Uh, I will not create an optional lesson. But I just want to give you, uh, I will give you some extra little little insights since you guys are going to have to be writing about uh, a scene that includes a character and some setting just to help you with that. Okay, so we talked about point of view last week to help us figure out how we're going to write our stories and when we describe our characters. And so this week I'll introduce some more um, descriptive tools to help us figure out setting. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, now we get to the, the deliverables. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so for the first one is, this is the writing assignment. We get to do some writing, yay! And the, the, the uh, instructions are found right here. So if we click on module three writing assignment and grading rubric, bloop, 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 which I've already done, I've already loaded this up. Okay, now remember how I said there were some more broken links? 
Well, this link right here, The Soul of Place and Reading Novels, yeah, those links are broken as well. And yes, I have submitted tickets. So my my hope is that those will be resolved before um, you guys even see this video uh, on Monday. So be aware that those are things. Now, are they required for you to do this assignment? No, they're just resources, but it's still not a bad idea. So what do you have to do? Okay, so you get to choose a craft element and write a genre-specific fictional scene of your own. Okay, so again, you're just going to write a scene, okay? And basically, the main focus is we'll include one character and the setting. One character and the setting. So we're just going to do one little scene, okay? And you're going to include one character and a setting. It doesn't have to be a self-contained short story. It doesn't have to have all the elements of resolution and climax and all that. Okay, we're just writing a little, a little scene, okay? Now, you need to submit your assignment through the critique thing by Thursday. Now, this is what I kind of talked about. You have until Thursday to do this first part of this assignment. You can't really expect to get good feedback from students if you turn this in Sunday night because no one is going to be up late Sunday night waiting for you to post your uh, paper so they can critique it. So please, please, please. Now, you don't have to wait till Thursday to do it. You can do it earlier than that, okay? But you need to submit your first your work, your scene, by Thursday, okay? After you have submitted your scene, then you can look at other peer scenes, and then you're going to provide an analysis of their work. Now, please note this, okay? You're going to analyze how they use their character and their setting, because that's what we're focused on, the character and setting, okay? And you can remark on any other intriguing things, such as which point of view you used or how much description they decided. But you're not withholding any judgment. I mean, yes, I'm sorry. You are withholding any judgment on the quality of their work. Please don't say, boy, this is terrible, or wow, this is fantastic. I know what it is probably is going to be fantastic, but, you know, we just need to keep this, um, you know, it's like, hey, in your, in your story, uh, your, you know, character of so-and-so, you know, uh, did a, you know, and then just describe how you felt they developed the character, and if the setting was too much, there wasn't enough setting, okay, so it's not the quality, like, this is fantastic, this is terrible, this is great, okay, whatever, um, we're really kind of looking for critical and um, constructive feedback, okay? Now, uh, da, 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 da. again, for references, you can include, again, this novel thing. Okay, so but how long do you have to write? Well, it should be between 300 and 600 words in length. Now, again, I've noted in other videos that when it comes to writing, it's like, well, how many pages should it have to be? Well, it, when you write books, it's not a matter of pages. It's, it's word count, okay? So that's where you kind of need to wrap your head around it. Please note that this needs to be submitted as a Microsoft Word document. Don't do it as a pages thing that you would find in Mac or whatever. Microsoft Word, and you can get Microsoft Word free as a student at most universities by just going to searching Microsoft Word free as a student and using your student email account, okay? And it needs to be in MLA formatting, okay? And I did, I did, I did, I did post directions and instructions on how to format stuff in MLA. And then here's the rubric, okay? Did you, you know, actually, you know, create a scene? Did you do analysis? And then, again, if there's issues with spelling and organization or MLA formatting, this is where that'll be done. So that's one of the first deliverables. So again, write your story where you have a setting and a character, put it, submit it by Thursday, by Thursday night, okay? Um, after it's been posted, this, then you can start doing analysis of somebody else's work. Well, how long does the analysis have to be? It didn't really specifically say. I would say, um, you know, a paragraph would be sufficient in that. So let's just go with that. Okay. So that is deliverable number one. And as we scroll through to the next thing, this shows us where we actually submit this assignment. So what you're going to do is after you have your Word document created, you're going to click Upload. And you're like, oh, where's the file? So the easiest way to do this is if you just click here, then you can search through wherever your computer is and say, oh, well, here it is right there. I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop it. And then you hit upload. Okay, and then you've uploaded your file. Once you've uploaded it, um, and I'm not going to actually upload that, but um, then you will see posts from everybody else, okay? And notice that everyone is open into the public. So once you see people posting, then you can respond to their posts in doing those analysis. Oh, okay, fantastic. Last but not least is more group work, okay? 
So you were assigned to groups, and again, I apologize for the confusion of how this could be. And before we get to the specifics of this group thing, let me again show you where you can find that. So if you go to Course Menu, and you go to Discussions, and you go to General Questions, it says List of Group Members, there's the group. Okay, and again, I had set this up through the system the way they designed. Uh, with I, 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 I made a mistake. I assumed that this information would then be transferred to you so you would know what group you're in. Um, but apparently that didn't happen. So I, I went through and copied it, just copied it and pasted it into this thread. So there's which group you're in. Okay, so let's go back to the learning modules. And see so what are we going to do with the group work this week? So let's go back to module three. We're already there. So the last thing we're going to be doing is the group work. So for this week, what we're going to do is you're going to, in your group week this week, you will develop a set of three reading questions for the group. So you're going to post three questions. The questions should be not plot driven. This is based on your books that you're reading, okay, because they're, they're, they may be a, reading different books than you. Instead, design your questions to debate about the craft elements and the writing elements of the work of the novels. Because the way that the book um, pairings were set up is that you have some that were classic novels, okay, uh, or the contemporary novels. And we'll notice that, as, as we noted in the point of view video from module two, that uh, classic novels tended to use more of an omniscient, third person omniscient point of view, way of doing it, where contemporary novels usually were moving more towards first person and third person limited. Um, did you notice that? Okay. How much description is between the two? Um, any number of things you can consider as far as craft elements. Okay. Um, you should then frame a question asking your group to observe the viewpoints from their book pairing. So it's like, hey, so what point of view did you see in your books? Were they different? Um, how did you feel they developed, you know, they introduced the character? Okay, how much time did they spend on the scene? You can even go as far as, did the first line grab your attention? Was the first line good? Okay, stuff like this, you know, we're talking about this craft element. So you're just doing this interactions. Now remember, for the book group rubrics, Okay, these are videos. Videos limit your post to three minutes in length. Okay, um, and then you post your initial response uh, or your videos to the time zone, which again this is by Sunday. Okay, um, da, 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 da. this is again just a general rubric. Did you post uh, your questions? And then you have a chance to respond. But again, the group here work is designed to do that. Okay, so to refresh for our module three. So if we go back, go back. I want to go back. Uh, learning modules. So there's three sets of things we get to do. Okay, so um, once you just kind of read through the stuff before you get started, again, the deliverables are you're going to write a scene, okay, where, you know, between 300 and 600 words in MLA formatting. You're going to post it here by Thursday by Thursday, so people have a chance to uh, then respond, and then you're going to also uh, include stuff into your book group, okay? Make sure you do those three things. I'll also have another announcement which talks about setting um, and detail and stuff like that for you to review to help along the way. So that's it for Module 3. Please email me, continue to email me with questions. Also remember that in the discussions area, there is a great place, general questions. Again, click a general question. If you have questions about things, this is the equivalent of you raising your hand and asking questions so that I can respond to the whole class. All right. Well, best of success for this uh, upcoming module. And again, please let me know how I can help you.